Welcome friends uh, to this KPMG pre-budget update on the infrastructure sector. Infrastructure in India is immensely significant and that is clearly evident uh, by the government's focus uh, on infrastructure in the five-year plan. The 11th five-year plan had infrastructure uh, sector getting allocated US dollars 500 billion whereas the next 12th year plan has actually a budget allocation of almost 1 trillion US dollars. That's right, 1 trillion. And 50% of this is going to come out from the private sector. Considering such a huge investment uh, focus on the infrastructure, it's imperative that the budget actually gives, lays a proper policy and the platform to give that impetus to the infrastructure sector. Let me give you a couple of pointers where I think it will really help if this budget brings in uh, that much level needed help or the incentive to the sector. First is there has been a lot of talk already going across as to whether the current profit linked incentive scheme which is granted to infrastructure sector should be actually uh, terminated and the new expenditure linked incentive scheme be introduced. As uh, some of you would be aware, this is something that was proposed in the direct tax code and therefore there is a school of thought that this is something that could come in in this budget. But this is something that would probably reduce the level of tax incentive available to infrastructure sector and therefore uh, in order to continue the infrastructure sector to get those benefits this is some area where a lot of um, industry stakeholders feel that the profit linked incentive scheme is something that should be continued. The other focus uh, or has been a request from a lot of uh, players in this sections which give weighted deduction to sectors like cold chain uh, where you know you get weighted deduction but something that can be also granted is a weighted deduction of 150% to some of the other sectors. So there is also another section uh, which grants weighted deduction of 150% that's to say coal chain facilities. Now while this is a very great advantage, uh, government could consider giving a similar 150% weighted deduction to some of the other infrastructure projects say uh, slum rehabilitation project. Now that's something that's entitled uh, not entitled to 150, but again, that will some help with a lot of projects uh, in this area coming up. Uh, this also brings me to an interesting point of what does one mean by infrastructure? Infrastructure really has different connotations across different provisions, whether it is to do with income tax, whether it is exchange control, whether it is to do with FDI. But within the tax provisions, if infrastructure is widened enough to bring in today it's limited to say airport developers if today we were to today we have seen it in airport there's not just an airport developer there's a lot of airport support services which go in to make airport a fully functional one today those don't enjoy any infrastructure status and therefore do not get benefit or take a case of shipping for example while shipping has got a tonnage tax benefit, one of the very important activities to promote shipping is shipbuilding itself. That is not something that is granted infrastructure status. Or today, there's a lot of focus by the government on the education sector and to try and promote education across the country. Again, that's not recognized as infrastructure getting the tax holiday in India. So if government could consider and widen the infrastructure definition to include these activities and therefore also promote them through uh, conducive tax policy, then we could see a lot of uh, investment going into that uh, in these particular areas and therefore that will something that benefits to the people at large. And last but not the least, uh, of course, we wait for to hear on the GST because that's something that we see um, will impact a uh, lot of players in the infrastructure, especially in cases where, for example, in power, when you generate electricity, a lot of input credit is lost. So 
GST bringing in GST will also ensure that there is a complete uh, supply chain credit mechanism across the different um, different players within this sector. So we look forward to that uh, GST reform process also in this budget. So friends, these were a quick update uh, on the pre-budget um, expectations on the infrastructure sector. And we hope to see a lot of action uh, in this budget on infrastructure. Thank you.